I'm so excited. I got my newest film photos back. Let's go through them and see how I did. All right, uh, my name is Jeremy Jacobus. I run Brunch Boys, which has over 450,000 followers across all social media. And this show is Influencer Secrets, where I talk about personal stuff, influencer things, tech, film, photos, sort of whatever's on my mind. And today we are going through my last batch of film photos. So normally these, I shoot all these on my uh, Canon AE-1, which I have here. Uh, I believe this is my third or fourth roll. I forget. It takes me so long to get through them. I forget what I even shot. So it's going to be a surprise for me and a surprise for you. And let's see if I'm actually good at taking these photos or not. Because they're hit or miss. Taking film photos is hard. Uh, number one, ooh, a beautiful photo of uh, Bobby at home, Bobby Flay's cookbook. That one came out kind of nice. A lot of these are test photos. Like a film, I feel like you need to like get that shot and get that shot, take that same shot a few times just to sort of see if things are right or not. It's very difficult. It's a very, a big jump from DSLR where you can just hold down the shutter button and take a thousand photos to get it to work. Um, this is from, mm, uh, this is from lunch. I went with Emily Food Lover's Diary. We went to a ramen place and this is a little like uni toast thing. That's pretty good. I think that one came out all right. God, these are from months ago. I'm the worst. Um, these are pancakes, uh, vegan pancakes at Ja Ja Ja. I did a whole video on those. I will put that link here. Um, so far, these I actually like these photos. Normally, I hate the photos because they come out so terrible. I'm actually kind of impressed. Uh, here's another photo I took of them on the floor. Very, very nice. I like that. Aha, here we go. God, <laughs> these are from when I went to LA too. Oh my God. Uh, these are from outside the new um, Soho house in LA. They have like, it's in um, the warehouse district. There's really, really cool um, graffiti everywhere right outside. This is a cool one. It said Los Angeles. That's pretty cool. Got a second one of that too. A little out of focus. Oh, I, I, I took another one. How did that one look? Okay, just not framed that properly, but that's okay. Um, uh, these are shots that I took in Chinatown back in New York City. Um, and the focus is a little off, but I like the colors. I like what's going on in this one. Sort of just like a little fish market. That's cool. Um, a little mural in Chinatown. Focus not there. Oh, it's so difficult taking photos on that thing. Uh, oh, that's kind of, oh, damn it. Again, in Chinatown, there was like a really cool sign thing, signage thing, but just not, just a touch out of focus. It's okay to be soft with film, but uh, I don't love it. Um, all right, I was trying to take these on the subway. You're getting weird reflections. I, it looks almost like it's because I was shaking and the, and the shutter speed was too low. I wanna say maybe it's a little bit of that, but I think it's more just like it was going through a couple glass things on the subway and just was, just light was reflecting really, really weird. Um, Try to take that shot a bunch. I could not, oh man. I was really working hard to try and get one of these to work. Nothing is sort of in focus. Uh, that's all right. Um, this is of the J train. Kind of cool. Um, uh, these I was taking at Golden Diner. I love the lighting Golden Diner. I was trying to like get it right. Um, that's Alexis right there. Um, of what's the, the Alexis eating for dinner. Uh, I'll put her thing there because I forget on top of my brain what her Insta handle is. Um, this one just in the back of her head. That one's kind of cool. I, the colors in there, the lighting in there, gold designer was so nice. Oh, so beautiful. Um, sandwich. The first one didn't really work out. Second one was kind of cool, kind of cool, kind of didn't work. Um, let's see, what are these? This is some sort of statue. Ah, this is in Boston. I saw literally all over the country for this for, this, uh, for these photos. Uh, some statues I found in Boston as I was just sort of walking around taking photos. That one's kind of cool. All right, this one I like. That one kind of came out nicely. It was like little little golden hour shot there. I forget what sta who's that statue of. You know, Boston, lots of classical things. A couple more photos of it. I was really trying to get it down. Aha! The Sitco sign that uh, you see outside of Fenway. That's really cool. It was such like it was such like a cold, dark kind of like moody day in, in Fenway. It was really or in Boston, really amazing for photos. I think these came out crooked. I could fix that in post though. Fenway Fenway Park. 19, uh, 1918, this is their World Series. Oh, this one's cool. The shot of, of um, 
Oh my God, why am I blanking on his name? Uh, Ted Williams, uh, outside the park of his statue. That came out kind of cool. All right, I'm liking these. Uh, so this is our shoot from, I was shooting a show for MSG. It's gonna come out soon. Um, so this is my co-host Maricel Salazar. First one, not so great. Second one, feeling that shot. And that was the last one on the roll. That was the last one on the roll. I thought I took more. Again, I'm so confused, but yeah, that's it. Um, I would say overall, I think these photos are better than my previous ones. Just takes practice. Um, I, I just, there's something very special about film. We've gone over this a whole, a bunch of times of just like one, the colors, are, just the photos themselves are so beautiful. The dynamic range in them is so beautiful. Like you very rarely get things that are like so dark and so bright. Like it really is able to, to just handle uh, that really, really well. There's something beautiful about the photos. Uh, I shot this, sorry, on um, Kodak Gold um, 400. Um, and just like the memory story, I think it's fun that like, when you, you know, I obviously take photos every single day, whether it's for my Instagram feed or for stories or whatever. And I think you take them, you sort of forget about them. Literally on stories, they're poof, gone in 24 hours. And there's somewhere in the range you forget about them. But to sort of go through these um, every few months and have like these memories rush back to you is really special. I was going through, uh, I went to my parents' house oh, a month or two ago. I was going through the photo albums and I was like, ah, oh, I want photo albums. Yes, we have photo albums on Facebook or whatever and you're automatically tagged, but there's something different about seeing these photos and going through like what was marked on them and what was happening and the memories that you have. I think are something very special about printing photos. They don't have to necessarily be on film, I guess, um, but just having them printed out and not digital. I think having them in your hand is really, really cool. So, and keep shooting. I'm just about done with my other role, so hopefully we'll do another one of these videos sooner rather than later, because I, like I said, I, now I don't even know what's on this role. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think about these photos. Let me know uh, what you guys think about just film photos in general, if you've tried taking them at all, um, what your experience has been like. And uh, share this video, like this video, wherever you found this video. Make sure you're following, subscribed, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.